Hello everyone, Flying Dutchie here, welcome back to our beginner tutorial for complete beginners in Heart of Iron 4. Uh, last episode we continued the uh, civil war in Spain and uh, we did some training with the boats and you can now already see that we have 32 infantry divisions on the border with Poland. And that is too much, because remember you can only have 24 for each general. So this one is having 8 too much, so let's send a couple of these to uh, the other commander here. So let's send 8 of them, so click 1 and then shift. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Control, and click on this group. So they go to this commander, so now they have 24 and 21. And that should mean that the troops are going over the sea to this uh, front over here. We have a thousand artillery. <laughs> not used right now and remember artillery is a very helpful on the attack side in infantry division we only have one division type at the moment for our infantry and that is this one it's using only 12 artillery per division which is very very low it has a very low soft attack here and a huge amount of defense and organization so this one will hold on very very well against enemy attacks at least soft attack so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new template. And in this template, we are going to put in artillery. There are two ways to put in artillery in a uh, infantry division. You can do it on foot or you can put it on a truck. Of course, when I put it on a truck, um, this one, you are going to use trucks. And you guys know that I am not a fan of this, so I am not going to do this. But you can see and see that the soft attack is going up like crazy. Yes, the organization goes down a little bit, that is true. And since we are using a truck, we are getting a little bit of uh, less hard, uh, softness, but 1% hardness. Now, I don't think this is very useful for an infantry division. So what I will do is put the normal artillery in. This one. And you can see the difference immediately when I hover over this. Uh, you can see that we're not using any fuel. We're not using trucks. We are losing a little bit of breakthrough. We go from 47 to 42. And the rest stays the same. Because we are still using the same artillery. So I'm going to put this in. And I'm not even going to put in one. I'm going to put in more. Because I want to increase my soft attack. From my attacking infantry divisions let's see what happens when i put a third in now 129 we go to 157 soft attack and our organization goes from 50 to 40 that is still fine this would be a very good attacking division now when i click this all my infantry divisions are going to use this template and that is way too much i think it will give a summary over here yeah we need 5,700 artillery. We only have 1,000. To put all the artillery in for my infantry units. That are on the field right now. That is way too much. So what I will do, I will just, just close this and click the edit button again. We are first going to make a new template by duplicating... The infantry division and maybe you should tell them tell them this is infantry defense like this and then click the rename button that doesn't cost anything now we'll duplicate this and this is our copy and this will be the infantry uh, where's my delete button there it is infantry attack we are going to make an attacking template and I'm going to give them three normal artilleries. Like this. And I'm going to click on the save over here. Do I want to give them more support equipment? Actually, let's give um, my uh, infantry, attacking infantry, the uh, recon. Once again, you can do a recon on foot or on a horse. Recon on a truck or a recon on a tank. Now, these ones are costing too much for me. I'm putting them in and putting it on a cavalry. 
And we're gonna save this. But this does, doesn't cost us anything because this template is not in the field at the moment. So let's just save it. Uh, let's give it a new uh, symbol as well. Uh, what will be my attacking symbol? This one. Let's do the sword. There we go. And then click save. What I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna click on my 24 uh, defensive Infantry defense, you can see the name change now. And a couple of them I will switch, change uh, division template. And I'm going to make them an attacking infantry. You can see that when I change one of them, uh, we have plenty of, uh, of um, equipment over here. So there we go. And I think we have enough for 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All of these are becoming the attack. Okay, we will not have enough infantry equipment, but they will come very soon. We do have enough artillery, we do have enough of all the other things. And I'm gonna put these 10 in a new army. Now you can see that this army is not under this field marshal, so let's right click here. So that now it is under the field marshal and we're going to get a new commander. And we want the one with high attack stats for this one. That has the infantry boost. So for example, Wilhelm Ritter von Leib over here. Well, he's an old guard, so that is not the, the best one. Uh, let's get Johannes Blaskovic over here. He's getting more experience over time. And he's having a attack skill of 3. Um, let me check my commanders that I have in the field right now. Where can I see the stats? Oh. Can't see it. There he is. I'm gonna put Erwin on the attacking armies here. Oh, and this one should also go to this one. You have 10 of them. So this commander I will unassign. And I'm gonna put it on the attacking army over here. Because it's having a skill of 4 and we have the attacking army over here. And I'm going to put this one also at the Polish front over here. And I will tell them to also attack. This way we are going to attack with these templates. While these ones are not going to attack and stay behind for more of a defensive uh, play. That is how I'm going to do this actually. So this one should need a defensive commander. If hopefully an infantry trade. Uh, I'm going to put in uh, Wilhelm here. He is a old guard, but uh, he is also an infantry leader. And that is how I'm going to do this. Uh, oh yeah, that is because we have the new uh, carrier. But we don't want to make that one. And this way we are getting two different templates on the border here. An attacking one and a more of a defensive one. And that is how I like to play. And what you should maybe do is give the attacking ones a different symbol. I'm going to give them a star. The star ones are the attacking ones and the normal shield are the defensive units. I think that is a uh, very good idea. Okay, we have spent some of our artillery. You can see it over here. We are now only having f minus 41 in the stockpiles. Still have a little bit of support equipment. We still need more fighters and tactical bombers. We are making those and we have a surplus of uh, close air support. So we need to take care of that uh, later as well. Let's go back to our tanks over here. We were trying to um, attack this tile over here. We are building up our planning bonus, and then we will go. Hey, we have resource construction too. We are building factories even quicker. Am I going to do more of these? I think I am. I still want more of these things in my army. I would love to get field hospitals in my... Uh, especially my attacking armies. So that when they... Uh, 
when they die, they have a chance to go back to my manpower pool. It could be a really good idea, actually. I'm not gonna look at uh, tanks yet. I will do that very soon. When we get a bonus. Oh yeah, we need the anti-tank research done. Let's uh, get this out of the way. So, you could put this on your infantry divisions to get a piercing boost. But I'm using my tanks to pierce the enemy tanks, not my infantry. If you are having a, a small country that is not very uh, very big in production, you want to put this on your defensive, uh, on your uh, infantry divisions. Because this gives a, uh, a uh, boost to your piercing. That you can maybe uh, go through the armor of your enemy's tanks. Otherwise you have a very big penalty the whole time. Okay, are you guys completely planned? You are. Please go over here. And then go. Hey, we have three civilian factories, guys. So now we are making civilian factories in three states at the same time. And apparently, yeah, we have one extra available right now. We're still using two for our trade. Do we still need it? Yeah, we still need the chromium and we still need the rubber, so we're not going to cancel those. Uh, but we're going to make more civilian factories, but where? Not in Brandenburg, Hanover, Thuringen and Franken, because we will get free infrastructure there, so somewhere else. In Niederbayern, we have only level 3 infrastructure, so we need to build two more. And then we can build seven civilian factories, that could be good. Is there any better province where we can build a huge amount of factories? I think the answer is no. I'm gonna go and uh, increase the infrastructure to level 5 here, shift click. I do this because we can at least build 5 more factories, we can build uh, 7. And with technologies later we can maybe build 9 or 10. And then when this is fully uh, built up we are gonna Shift-click and build more civilian factories. There we go. I think that's completely fine. Okay, let's uh, keep playing. And there we go. We have completed our focus and now we have an extra research slot. Perfect. Research is uh, a very good thing. What do we really need? We still need to research radar before 1938. We have all the planes. I don't focus on heavy fighters, so we have all the planes that we want. Uh, later on we need to make carrier planes, but let's talk about that when the carriers are... Uh... Well, we should maybe do that right now, because it takes a while to make those planes. So you can see these symbols, right? You can click this thing here, and you can make a... Uh, a, a, you, you can make a carrier plane. You can see the symbol here. And you can put these on carriers. The planes that I would like to put on carriers is naval bombers so that we can use our carriers and uh, send our planes on the enemy battleships and bomb them with torpedoes. The Fieseler, I'm going to get that one. And we are going to get carrier fighters to get air superiority in the naval battle. So I want these two to be put on my carriers. So we're gonna do this. Uh, we can do only one at a time, it doesn't matter which one first. Let's start with the fighter. And when this one is uh, made we're gonna produce it. Now we need a new focus. What do we really really want? There are a couple of things that are very, very helpful. We want Anschluss. We want Austria to unite with Germany. But we can only do this when we have 500,000 people, or manpower, in the field. How much do we have right now? We need 1,000 more. Wow. Can we quickly get 1,000 more in the field? Yes! When I click this button, my infantry division will be in the field. Boom. There he is. He is gonna uh, walk to the uh, defensive army group 
uh, against Poland. That is this. Uh, that's what I assigned him to. And now we can do Anschluss. And a couple of things will happen. Austria will join our country. We get army experience. And we are using the Austrian gold to reduce the cost of the MEFO bills. Right now, our MEFO bills are already costing minus 0.5. And in 122 days, it will be uh, minus 0.65. And when you annex these countries, Austria, uh, Czechoslovakia, we will annex later as well. We can use the gold reserves to limit this, this penalty. So we get only good things about this. And we want to do this as quickly as we can. So let's, let's go for the Anschluss. The Anschluss of our union with Austria is a long-held goal of the German people. Although forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles. Well, we already have broken it. Time has finally come to bring it about. Let us offer the Austrians a chance at sharing our glorious destiny. Click. In 70 days, Austria will join our country. There we go. We have a low supply thing here. Oh, yeah. This unit is having low supply. Let's right click on it. Hmm. But it is not getting attrition. It's only having low supply. So it's not a big deal, really. And this will go away later on when we click this button, right? Yeah. So. Not a big deal. As long as you don't get attrition, low supply is not a big deal. When you get attrition, you lose stuff. This way you don't lose anything. Okay, I'm gonna make a change here. We can see that this, uh, this boat here is almost done training. I'm gonna put this in a new fleet. But they will now train on their own, these two boats. My submarine is almost ready. And then all my 18 submarines are fully trained at level 3. Yeah, you're almost done. Uh, you are not done, but you are repairing. Yeah, they also need to start, they also need to repair the whole time. And what I will focus on as well now is uh, going towards the medium tanks over here. We are going to use these tanks. But you can see it's 1939. But luckily Germany can get a, a treaty with the Soviet Union and get a two-year research uh, yeah, boost. So we can research something that is two years ahead. So we can get the Panzer III without a penalty. I want that. Where is this focus? Is it the treaty with the USSR? There it is. So we, want need, we need to do army innovations and then treaty with the USSR. We get a one time two years ahead of time penalty reduction for medium tank models. And we get a research boost for armed technologies. And another one year ahead of time penalty reduction for medium tanks. Okay, so we are going to get no penalty for this one. And in 1940, we can research 1941 Panzer IV. But it sounds like a good plan. I want those focuses because we want to make those better tanks. So we are going to go for that next in our focus tree. Okay, we are spent all our artillery doing uh, fine over there. The troops are coming in. We have 500,000 uh, troops already in the field. That is really, really nice. Did we already build an extra tank? Oh yeah, we did. We have our second tank here. And what are my Spanish volunteers doing? Nothing right now. Hmm. Let's see if we can push through here. It's a bit risky. This could fail... Uh, Completely. Ooh, that's very risky. Maybe I should try to pocket this part. Now you can see it's running away because my front line is uh, getting out of hand. So let's pre press Alt. Make it smaller. There we go. But this tile is now... Oh yeah, we need to run to this tile right now. Because if we lose this tile... 
we will be pocketed. So, are we fine like this? I think we are fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, can we attack this? Yes. Good. And can we attack this? Because then they are pocketed. Okay. We did it, but we are getting attacked, so we cannot move there, and now we can. Hmm, that is a very big pocket, and this is very, very risky. Because if the enemy takes one of these tiles out... Then we could be getting stack wiped here, so we need to watch out. Is there any hill or a plain province? Yeah, there are planes over there. Can I win this? I can. Okay, we are gonna stack wipe this whole pocket here, I think. Let's give them an attack bonus. We have spare points. And there is the first peace deal with Ethiopia. Or the only peace deal. Italy has won the war against uh, Ethiopia and they annexed this part of Africa. And that means that all of Africa is now colonized. Sad times, isn't it? Yep, that is what happened. Okay, let's uh, keep going over here. Now we have more troops in the field and that could mean that we can send more volunteers. So let's take a look here. Yeah, we could send another tank. Because we have more people in the field, we can now send three instead of two. So, let's go to my tanks. Now, we have two tanks in one army, army so we have to do... This, select one and make that in a different uh, tank army because we can only send one then we do this then we send one of our tanks over here it takes a while but then they can join the Spanish volunteers over here oh and one of the tanks is not assigned now they are uh, can you attack this? We can. Very nice. Any supply over here? No. They're all going to die over here. That is a stack wipe. They cannot move away. We are at 98%, so let's see what happens to our stats over here when we go to level 5. We're almost there. Uh, let's wait a bit, you need a bit more organization. Yeah. Need, need, need to make another new front line. Because otherwise they're going to move away. But now we're 3, 4, 5, 3. 3, 4, 5, 3. Let's see where we go after we have uh, done another battle over here. Let's see if we can win now. No, not yet. There's our new uh, new tank. It's over there. We are going to put it over here. And the tank will join my two tanks. Now we have three tanks over here. Oh, and we have a new research slot. We have done this one, I think. What is the best thing to do right now? We still need to get all these 1936 support equipments done. Maybe I should get my field hospitals. Yeah, let's go for the field hospital. Oh, and we have uh, 166 political power, so we can uh, do something in our cabinet again. What do we need next? We still need our chief of air force. We can get our air experience and uh, get those doctrines, which is also very good for us. We still need our these commanders over here. These are all not useful, not useful, not useful, not useful. This one is still useful. This one would give us uh, a bit more fascism support, which increases our stability. We need this one when we are going to start making military factories. Maybe I should get uh, my air experience going. Let's get a chief of air force. Let's see what we have here. 
So you give 0.3 a day and you get more experience. Erwan Göring gives 0.3 a day as well and we get more air superiority. Hey, that is what we like, air superiority, because we want to use that on our armies to let our close air support work. Let's go with Hermann Göring over here. There we go. So we have now our chiefs and those chiefs give us uh, experience and the experience will be used for multiple things. These ones do not give any experience. They are just giving boosts to your army, navy or um, air force. And yes, we will go with Ermin Rommel because it gives a huge amount of attack or armor. Okay, that is all done. Oh, what is happening with the AI there? Hey, my tank arrived. We now have three tanks over here. See if we can win. And let's see what my stats will be when we level up. So it's 3, 4, 5, 3. Let's go here. We will level up very soon. You now 4, 5, 6, 3. So we get a no nice stat increase. We even have a level 5 tank over here. So those tanks are very, very deadly now. Now they're all pocketed here. This would be the last uh, last blow, I think, against uh, Nationalist Spain. We should be able to win this very soon. We have leveled up our, uh, our general, so that is really nice. Stack wipe this, please. And please stack wipe this because there are seven units trapped. We are gonna kill them all. We're gonna get a huge and huge experience uh, thing here. We have done Anschluss. We don't own Austria yet. The Austrians have to uh, decide if they want to join us or not. They will say yes, because that is how the game is scripted. And that opens up the things over here. We could click this and we will tell Lithuania that Memel is part of the German Reich. The Prussians live here and this should be German. We could do that right now, but that is not doing a lot for us. So not a big fan of this one. I want to get my tanks. We are going to the treaty with the USSR, with the Soviet Union, and get a two year ahead of time penalty reduction. But first we need army innovations, one for it. And it also unlocks Erwin Rommel, so. And we get some more bonuses. Now let's see if they are going to accept. Anschluss. Repeated uprisings in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with our Reich. It is now time to take action and allow the will of the people to be made manifest. Lower and Upper Austria will become a core, Tyrol will become a core. We are getting some political power, we get more war support, we get more stability, and we reduce the political power for the Mavo Pills. Boom. We have more stability now, we have more war support, and we have more political power. And we have annexed this. And we also annexed the units from uh, Austria. So we need to do a couple of things here before we continue. Because we also have now full control over the territories and that means that we have more factories as well. So let's first go to our factories. Uh, how much do we have? We have five more that we can assign. Huh. Five more factories. Is there anything that we really need? But well, the infantry equipment is just coming. Well, we need more tanks really, but we are not going to make more light tanks. I'm going to focus on medium tanks soon. I think planes two a week are fine. And if I, if I put more on these planes, we, need, we don't have the rubber for it. So let's not do it. Can we get more of this before we use too much tungsten? Yeah, we had one more. Okay, one more here. Let's get one more here. And two and three more at infantry equipment for now. There we go. Uh, we have modify government. We have more points again. What am I going to get here? Let's get a let's get a material designer, and get the research boost for something. What, what is counting weapons and infantry equipment? 
I guess all of these things. So one, two, three, four, five, six things here. Two, three, four, five, six things there. What gives the most bonus? I don't think motorization, because that is only one tree. That are these. I'm gonna go with the weapons and infantry equipment uh, increase. So Mauser. Let's get that research boost. We're gonna get those uh, later in the game as well. And then we have a research boost for it. And there we go. When you shift click this, you can now see we have nine divisions unassigned. And they have their own templates. Because we have annexed Austria, we are also getting their templates. So let's first take a look at their templates that we have uh, inherited. So we have our own Gebirgsbrigade. Six mountaineers. But Austria is at the Alpenjäger division. Six mountaineers and an engineer. I like that one more. So what I'm going to do is put my own mountaineer. Well, first I'm going to go and select uh, all my units here. I'm going to select... Okay, so, so hold shift, click this, and then hold shift and click these ones away. These four Gebirgs divisions are going to join up with my other Mountaineers. And that are these five. And they will all become Alpenjägers because they are a little bit better. Since they are using engineer uh, support equipment, so gonna do this and then I'm gonna remove my own mountaineers template now we also have two cavalry templates we have our own I think it's the Schneller division for cavalry and this one is from Austria for cavalry recon and artillery I really do not want to use this the only usage for cavalry for me is suppression so what we want to do is make all the ca uh, uh, at least remove all the cavalry out of the field. We don't want to have them fielded, so I'm gonna click the Schneller division, and you could do a couple of things. You can just disband it, or you're gonna um, make it an infantry unit, and I'm gonna do that. And then this one will go to, I guess, the Polish uh, defensive army. It's not a. It is this one. So right-click on the 17 shield here. And it will join the defensive uh, armies against Poland. And then we have four infantry divisions. What is their template? It's nine infantry, engineer and motorized recon. I don't like those at all. I want to make them in my own template. My own infantry de uh, defense template. Let's do this. And let's send them again to the Polish defense front here. There we go. Now we have 22 there. And that opens up uh, this template. This was the uh, the Austrian template. I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to remove one of the cavalry, but not all of them. Uh, this one needs to be removed. And we keep this one for when we uh, conquer territory. We can use these for maybe with, with military police later on to suppress the uprisings. Now we have two more templates over here. We have an infantry template three. This is not bad at all actually. This is a very good garrison template. That is something we need to make as well. But we also have infantry template four. What is this? Okay, this one will be removed. We don't need this one anymore. I'm gonna use the infantry template three here. And I'm gonna make this the garrisons. I'm gonna call this garrisons. And these units are used to protect the shorelines. I'm going to remove the infantry equipment here. And I'm going to leave these six infantry units as a defense force. So we're going to save this. And these ones will be made and they will protect my coastlines. Right now they could just invade my coastlines. You need to make garrisons and protect your coastlines against naval invasions from... Uh, the allies later in the game. So I'm going to put this on and start training them actually. But the good news is they only need infantry equipment. Because they are a very cheap garrison unit. So I'm going to put like 20 in. And for now only make one. So they will get out of this queue when 20 are built. 
and they are going to protect the coastlines. There we go, the answer is of Austria. Austria is now mine. And we have a bigger front now with Czechoslovakia, so press Alt. And make it a bit bigger. Now my units are going to move to where they need to go. With tensions rising around the globe, the US Congress has been this in uh, has been the scene of intense discussions and they will go neutral. Yep, America went neutral. How are my, bo how are my boats doing? You are trained? No, you are repairing. You are trained. Oh, I, di I did not shift click this, so that is why it was still training. Uh, you are completely trained, you are going to the main fleet. There we go. Ding ding, now we have 24 ships. Still not enough of course, we need way more ships. Hindenburg is done. Let's go back to my uh, tanks over here. Ah. Okay, apparently they were not stack wiping. Keep stack wiping. Give me a juicy experience. And my army experience. Okay, you can see when I move those tanks, we are uh, using a huge amount of fuel. So before we go to war, we have to make so much more fuel as Germany. Okay, let's... Uh, Kill all these units. Massive experience boost again. Okay, we are almost done with this war, guys. We are going to attack Valencia now. And that should be it. Yeah, event decision. The, the naval bills will get more expensive. And we have researched the Arado. We are now having... We have researched our carrier fighter. Uh, let's go and get the carrier naval bomber. Yeah, you can see this highlighting, that means that there is something new. Yeah, that's true. We now have the carrier fighter. So we have the fighter one and the carrier fighter one. We're gonna make this one. We're gonna put one factory on it. Um, this will mean that we are going to spend more on rubber. And that is, I think, fine for now. So let's put some factories away from the infantry equipment. At least put one on the carrier fighter. Uh, let's put a little bit more on trucks. And maybe on the fighters as well. How much how much rubber do we need for this? We need uh, three rubber. Let's increase our trade with uh, the Dutch East Indies. There we go. Now we are, we are not using five rubber. So what we can do is put more on rubber things. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should make a bit more trucks. Um... Yeah, well, I'm not a big fan of putting anything else in, I think. Well, later on we are going to put this one away from the fighter and put it on the carrier naval bomber. Alright. You can fight in the hills or in the forest. Well, I know where I'm going. And apparently Valencia is free to take. Boom. This could be almost the end of the war. And it is. We have taken too much, uh, we have taken all the victory points and there we go. Nationalist Spain has now won the, na the Spanish Civil War. And that means that my tanks are now coming home. And I think we have a buff now. Yeah. We have sent volunteers, I think. So there we go. That was our practice uh, for our tanks over here. Uh, we have a new research slot. I think it is time to start getting our fuel and our rubber uh, production. So let's do uh, at least these two uh, researches. We don't need to get excavation. They just gives more. Uh, they just give more resources from your provinces. We we don't have a, a we don't have a resource uh, shortage yet, so we don't have to do anything there. But we do want oil, so. And we want more rubber from our oil. So let's get all these uh, oil and rubber technologies researched. I think that is very important.
the end of the Spanish Civil War. Yep. And the fascists have won it. For so people that don't know, uh, Germany, Italy and Spain are now fascist countries. And also Japan is. I think there are the only countries. Maybe Venezuela or Colombia is leaning that way. Oh yeah, Venezuela is also fascist. I think there are the only fascist countries. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and that will be the end for this episode, guys. We are very good on our way on... Uh, Doing a good amount of damage over here. Um, yeah, hopefully you're still with me. Hopefully you are starting to understand everything. Um, and then when we go to war, hopefully you will uh, understand what we are doing there as well. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.